hearty hello and how is it going viewers brad proprietor of barstool entertainment continuing my run of gta san andreas walkthrough type videos this is the next mission that is spawned from the photo opportunity mission and it is the next person on the list that you meet at Jizzy's Club. It is T-Bone Menendez. And we will get to this mission. Now just listen to me, okay? Now it's very important that you listen to me. I ain't no weak tired amigo. What you think? What, what, what you and Mike think? I'm just a pretty face to y'all? Is that y'all game? Now this here is the dumb muscle that I was talking about. Carl T-Bone and in reverse. Sup? Orale, son. Don't mind him, uh, we go way back. Hey, Holmes, don't be such a beachy liability. Liability? Liability for what? Now there's three of us and I'm getting 20%. What type of math is that? That's fool's math, player. You and man, I sell my soul to you guys. And that's what it's gonna come down to, huh? Screwing me out of my 13%? You knew the deal. You agreed. Besides, we could have said 5%. And what would you- And what, what, what? Cat got your tongue? You as bad at talking as you is at mathematics? Hey, you wanna make this shit personal, I say? Hello? Yeah. What? Man, damn. Hey, man, I gotta bounce. Oh, no, you don't. I invented that trick, baby. Carl, <laughs> come with me. We're gonna have to bust us a couple of melons up in here. What do you mean the shit has been ambushed? We can't just go out there, T-Bone. It could be a DEA trap. It could be a trap. Oh, my God. So it's up to CJ to go uh, take care of business. And first of all, CJ's got to get a car here. In order to uh, drive to where the van is being hijacked and then uh, take care of the hijackers. This is probably one of the most, um, how shall I say, useless and frustrating missions in GTA San Andreas. Uh, it involves a lot of driving around on a motorcycle. Now, in order to get to the van, you just stay on this road that follows the coast of uh, San Fierro. Like the previous mission, you just stay on the coast-following road because it will get you there far more quickly than, oh, trying to drive across town, which is what most people are tempted to do using this road here that follows the coast of San Fierro, i.e. the lowest road, gets you around San Fierro pretty quickly. You can take a cross street then to where you need to go if you have to take a cross street. Now we are arriving at the hijacked van here. Now, CJ is going to chase these guys all around San Fierro. And when he gets close enough to them, he's going to grab the package off the back of the bikes. Now, for some reason, I keep trying to shoot these guys by pressing the B button. And pressing the A button to grab the package. Ah, it's kind of counterintuitive, I guess. I just kind of like shooting the guys up, but you can't. So you got to chase them down and chase them all over San Fierro. There is a limit at some point. If the bad guys get away, you lose the mission. But this is really super frustrating and you got to bounce around. And I'm going to jump to the first package I grab to let you see because you got to chase these guys all over 
And for some reason, they're bulletproof. You can't shoot them. Okay, here we go. CJ is going to grab the package from this guy. Boom, one package grabbed. They tend to cluster around at times, but because they are riding all over and it's kind of hard to get them, it's very frustrating. They ride like pros, and CJ, well, he rides like he's a two-year-old on a... Uh, 10 speed you know he just not very good and the controls are not that great and again you gotta chase these guys all over the place try and get ahead of them try and get beside them and grab the packages again they seem to be bulletproof so i'm going to stop up oh, he dropped the package cj is yeah yeah again you just you got the package the guy shoots at you well i'm going to just fast forward to the other package grab and then fast forward from there to the final package grab okay this warning pops up so the riders are heading toward their rendezvous point and you have at least a couple minutes more of riding around before they actually get to their rendezvous point. If they do, this mission has to be started over. And as you can tell, it's kind of uh, very frustrating. So once CJ grabs this package, which should be there, there's one final guy to uh, get to. And again, I'm just going to fast forward to that point. I'm recanting that fast forward because this guy pops up fast enough to where CJ just grabbed the package. Now you got to get the package back to the, the packages back to the Pleasure Dome, which again, I'm just going to fast forward CJ's ride back to the Pleasure Dome to where he delivers the packages. Up. The cash is leaving Los Santos again. Gonna have to let this one slide, man. Got too much shit on my plate. Okay, with that phone call just given after CJ completes the mission, I am reminded there are a few more useless missions in GTA San Andreas. One of them is the courier mission. Well, I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, reminding you to subscribe, or if you like this video, smash the like button. Even if you don't like the video, smash the dislike button. But if you like these type of videos, keep subscribing. It's the only way I'm going to be able to make a little extra or money or something on this. As always, thanks for for stopping by. Ow, ow, ow. Jesus Christ! Ow.